everyone, so today I am doing a campus tour of the University of Leeds. So as we wander around I will explain whereabouts we are on Leeds campus and what each of the different buildings mean, just so you can get a gist of what the University of Leeds campus is like and whereabouts different lectures will be held and so on. So as we are recording right now we are currently here on the University of Leeds campus map. So as you can see we are at the edge of the campus. If we were to turn around on this road we would be basically heading back to Headingley which if you are a first year student you may end up going to Headingley in your second year for student accommodation for living in a house with your housemates. So Headingley is a really nice area so if we were to walk back on ourselves at the moment we would be heading back into Headingley. So in terms of the loop that we're going to take around the campus we are going to do a general loop and we will be starting here. So here you can see the library pub. Now the library pub is basically just a pub that students at the University of Leeds or anyone goes to and it's just a good place to go get a drink with some of your friends so it's definitely a place that I would recommend going to. As we cross this road we are officially on the University of Leeds campus as you can see by the giant University of Leeds sign that is on top of this engineering building. Now this whole building is basically home to engineering so we have civil engineering mechanical engineering basically any type of engineering belongs on this side of the campus mainly anyway so as we walk along here you'll see that there will be the mechanical engineering and the civil engineering so we are currently walking alongside this area of university here we have a map of the university of leeds so if you ever get stuck then you can always just refer to these. So these are dotted all around campus. So if you ever get lost, then just refer to one of these and you'll be able to find exactly where you're going. I did that a lot in first year when I got a bit confused where I was going. So again, here we are just walking alongside the engineering buildings. So there are a lot of rooms in the engineering buildings, unfortunately, because it was a weekend and because of coronavirus, we couldn't get into any of the buildings. So we can't show you inside the buildings, but this is basically just a campus tour. So here we are doing a little bit more walking alongside the engineering buildings. So here we are coming to the civil engineering department. So that will be where any of you civil engineers will be studying. It is worth noting that although I am showing you specific areas like civil engineering, that doesn't necessarily mean that you will spend your whole time in a specific area. So for me as a math student, I don't spend my whole time in the School of Maths. In fact, I rarely spend my time in the School of Maths. I spend a lot of time in lecture theatres and in a lot of different areas. That is the Eldon pub across the way, so that is one of the pubs that students go to. So we continue to do a little bit more walking. And here we have the mechanical engineering building. One of the signposts has fallen down underneath, but this is the mechanical engineering. I have actually spent a bit of time in here, even though I'm a math student, I did have lectures in the mechanical engineering building. So we continue to do a bit more of a walk the footway ahead is closed because they're currently building a new physics department, I believe it is, or IT department, which you'll see coming up soon. So that is the electronic and electrical engineering. So as I said, there is a lot of different engineering buildings alongside here. It's home to the whole engineering department. So as we wait to cross the road, we will cross the road just purely because the footway ahead ordinarily and hopefully in September, if you're coming in September, that footpath should hopefully be clear so you can walk down there. So as we walk down here, as we turn, that is the new physics IT building that is being built. That is the electrical engineering building that I just showed you, but this here is the brand new building that has been built it is next to chemistry which you'll see as we go up ahead and it looks pretty stunning to be honest it's been going it's been building all year it looks very pretty so i think this is home to it and physics students next year i believe because they're currently in ec stoner which you'll see as well so that is basically the whole renovation and the new building that's being built ahead you can see parkinson so parkinson is the building that is sticking out at the top which you will see in a bit more depth in a minute so i will fast forward all of the walking now just so we can get to uh, to parkinson's so here that is the footpath that would has been closed but hopefully will be open again when you return if you re if you are coming in september so here we have the chemistry building so this is basically the chemistry building and you can walk all the way through the chemistry building and return out near the great hall so that is near the disability services so it's great on the campus of leeds because you can really get to any anywhere using so many different routes so here on the left we have lots of different shops and sandwich shops so there's bakery 164 which a lot of you will probably know if you are university students but if you're not then i'd definitely recommend going to check that out 
So this is Parkinson's. I had a lot of tutorials in Parkinson's in first year, so they have lots of rooms in Parkinson's. If you get the chance before going to uni or if you want to have a look around Parkinson's, it's definitely one of the first places I would recommend going to just have a look around because it's so stunning inside. So they have disabled access as well for people using wheelchairs, which they just recently built this year. So that's amazing as well. If we carry on walking, so Parkinson's, you will find a lot of students will just sit around Parkinson's on their lunchtime because it's a nice place for students to just chill. Another thing to mention is our campus has now gone smoke free, so you won't see many people smoking because our campus is now smoke free. There you will see a church. Now that church, I believe, is used as part of workshops as well, so that can be used as workshops. And just behind that church, there is Laidlaw Library, so that is somewhere that students go to study. Yeah, so we're just going to carry on straight on, but if you were to turn right down through where, the, where you see the uh, blue arrows, if you were to go straight on down there, that would lead you to the Great Hall and the Union. So we will be coming to that later, but we're just going to do a loop round for now. Again, there is a campus map, so you know exactly where you're going. So you see the big University of Leeds sign, which again is stunning. So here another, I think that is, so these buildings here are used for workshops. A lot of the buildings when I do the tour round, I'm not entirely sure what they all what they all are, but they are buildings. We have a lot of renovated houses and churches and, and things around the University of Leeds that are used for studying. So again, here is the University of Leeds. So again, we're just going to carry on straight on, but if you were to turn right, you would make it down towards Union again that way. So you could make it down there. Um, here we have, you can see the back of Laidlaw Library and some of these houses are, have been built for I think it's the School of Education that is down here, so I've, I've had some lectures in some of the buildings around here just because where my timetable has led me and on our right we have the School of English. So the School of English are houses that have been renovated into classrooms for and, and tutorial classes. Um, I, have, I have been in the School of English and it is very, very pretty. So if we continue walking down here, there's some more renovated houses. If you do get a chance to have a wander around University of Leeds before you when you come or if you can get a chance to do it before you come then there are always these signposts here saying school of english so you never get lost there's always signposts telling you exactly what buildings are what and where and there's millions of signposts telling you where to go so this is the building for music so that whole building there is for music we have a few more houses that have been renovated don't worry about getting lost there are signposts everywhere. So this, another signpost here tells you exactly where you need to go if you want to get to any of these areas. And then we are just going to carry on straight ahead. Now we are currently at the back of EC Stoner. Now EC Stoner is one of the probably biggest uh, buildings we have on, on campus. And it is also home to the second longest corridor in Europe, which I got told on an open day, which is quite incredible really. You'll It definitely feels like the second longest corridor as you walk down it. But we are currently at the back of EC Stoner, so for us to get round the front of it, we will cut underneath just near where the car park is. So we will walk ahead and carry on north towards the car park. We'll cut under here. So we'll carry on walking towards underneath EC Stoner. Now EC Stoner carries on for a little bit towards our left, so I've had some IT clusters towards the left down there in EC Stoner. That funny looking funny looking building with the weird panels on the side is a car park. So we're just gonna carry on straight ahead just to show you the edge, which is our university gym. But that is EC Stoner there. As you can see, it is very long, very long indeed, and is home to a lot of workshops. So you'll probably find yourself in EC Stoner at some point, no matter what module you take, you'll probably find it. And as you can see here, just in between the car park and this red building, you can see Central Village. So if you are living in Central Village, it is literally two minutes away from the edge, which is campus, so you are, you are already on campus. I lived in Central Village in first year and it was one of the best accommodations that, that I've stayed in, so definitely recommend Central Village if you are looking at accommodation. So we carry on down this road here. Now, again, you see bike racks. There are loads of bike racks th throughout the university, so if you are bringing a bike, then don't worry, you will find a place to tie it up. So we're going to carry on down this road to show you the edge. Now the edge is our gym. Now the edge has a swimming pool, it has incredible facilities. You, as a first year, you get access to the edge. I would recommend taking full advantage of that. It is incredible inside and 
everyone there is so lovely so the edge is definitely one of the greatest features that we have at the University of Leeds so we are just turning left just to show you where Central Village is in comparison so that is one of the student accommodations which you can see the massive building that is Central Village so that is Central Village Block D now Central Village has four different blocks and if you have a wander over there then you will see the different blocks. I'm showing you behind the edge because there is the conference auditorium behind the edge. Now the conference auditorium is a building that a lot of people get confused about whereabouts it is because it is so tucked out of the way. So this may be one of the places you have your lectures in first year or in any year. Um, I had a few in first year and second year. So we're just going to wander back on ourselves back to the edge. So again, this is the edge. Now, if you take exams in full classes, so in you know you don't have any special arrangements for your exams, you will most likely be in the edge at some point for your exams. So that's the way that the university puts you for your exams. We carry on ahead. Now, towards the left, we do have Leeds General Infirmary, and I believe the university is attached to Leeds General Infirmary, and I think that is for medical students. I'm not entirely sure because I am a math student. I'm not not fully aware for that, but. As you come up here, we have a lot of the science buildings, so we're not going to venture too far down near the Worsley building or, or anywhere down there. So we have, as you can see here ahead of us, attached to Roger Stevens, which is the building with the statue. We have a massive area, and I believe this is for all the sciences, so the bio biological sciences, etc. So if you are a science student, I believe you will be at this side of the campus. I'm not entirely sure, but we're not, we're not going to venture over there. In this campus tour, we're just going to do a general campus tour. So I believe that is where the science students are situated. We have the lovely Roger Stevens pond now. We actually have fish in the Roger Stevens pond and we also occasionally get ducks as well. So the ducks are a, a lovely sight to see at the University of Leeds. That is Roger Stevens. Now Roger Stevens building is where your lectures will take place. So every year I've had lectures in the Roger Stevens building. But if you look straight ahead, you will see EC Stoner again because it is such a long building. Here we have Food Sciences building, as you can see by the signpost there. So that is behind Roger Stevens again EC Stoner all along there you can see the car park that I mentioned earlier so we will get a better view of what Roger Stevens looks like up close it is a very large building but I can guarantee you'll definitely end up in Roger Stevens at some point throughout your university life because so many lectures get held here it's probably one of the main places that the lectures do get held especially for me as a math student all my lectures get held in Roger Stevens and occasionally a couple in the conference auditorium so we continue up this ramp up here. Now towards the side of the Roger Stevens building, we have Leeds University's Sustainable Garden. So if you are at Leeds, I definitely just recommend checking this out because it is so pretty and they explain everything that they're doing in the Sustainable Garden. And as you walk through the Sustainable Garden, you will find yourself at the Faculty of Biological Sciences. All of that area there is the Faculty of Biological Sciences, as you can see ahead. I had some IT clusters in the Faculty of Biological Sciences, so it's not uncommon for you to end up in an area that is not part of your degree, but it's it's very interesting at the University of Leeds because it means you get to explore the different areas of the campus. So again, here is the Faculty of Biological Sciences and we have the Irene Manton building. Now we turn away from the Sustainable Garden and in this area behind here you will find Charles Morris accommodation and a few other areas. Unfortunately, as we tried to get here, the pathway was closed, so we just decided to cut back on ourselves. So, unfortunately, we won't be able to wander over there. The, there was a signpost saying that the path had been closed, so, and so we're just going to cut back on ourselves. So, again, we're just going back to where Roger Stevens building is. Now, again, as you can see, that is EC Stoner building. It is so long so again ec stoner there is incredibly long and you can see in the distance there is the central village block as well block d you can't seem to miss central village block d because it is so tall now we wander up these steps now on the left of us we have the school of mathematics and on the right we have the it services but there are so many different buildings at the university of leeds that i couldn't name every single one in this video so we're just doing the very general and as we carry on from the school of mathematics we have the Edward Boyle Library. Now this is one of the libraries that a lot of students use, specifically the science students. And and yeah, it has it has about five floors of different, you know, IT clusters, all sorts of different things in the library. So that is definitely a library that's worth checking out. They also have the edit room, which is just a coffee place underneath. So there are plenty of coffee spots. Again, in Roger Stevens, there's also a coffee spot underneath Roger Stevens. So that's great. 
So we continue up a few more stairs. So we are at Social Sciences Building. I have been in the Social Sciences Building, it's very nice. And as we turn around, you will see some red doors. Now the red doors is called Red Rue. Now Red Rue essentially can get you from, from Red Rue, you can get to anywhere in EC Stoner and it takes you to Roger Stevens as well. Now just behind these trees, we have the stage, which is where performances happen. So my friend has had plenty of performances and he has done one of his performances in the stage. Now we will carry on and you will come up to see a particular favorite statue of the University of Leeds. Everyone calls it the Bacon Statue. It's not actually called the Bacon Statue, um, but it's definitely it's definitely a, uh, a key feature of the University of Leeds. So we will wander up and you'll see it there, the red, the black figure there. Now behind the black figure, you will see the an addition onto the Great Hall. Now after Parkinson's, I mentioned that we could have turned right and that would have led us to the Union. Now that's what down there is, that's where we would have turned. But if you were to go down there and turn left, you would end up at Parkinson's again. So that building is the Michael Sadler building. Well now this entire area here is an add-on from the Great Hall. So I will show you the Great Hall. Now the Great Hall is essentially where you do your graduation. They, another signpost there as well. And you sometimes can have your exams in the Great Hall. It is absolutely stunning, it's so pretty. And all the additional areas onto, all the buildings onto the Great Hall are absolutely stunning. So here we have the Great Hall, it's absolutely beautiful. Now if you were to walk ahead, you'll see an archway. Now this archway actually leads you through, if you were to follow the archway and go down the pathway that you can see to the right, if you were to go down there, you can get to the disability services and you can also get to the School of Chemistry, a back way to the School of Chemistry. I'm not entirely sure what all these buildings are here, but if you were to look at the Leeds campus map, you will, you will be able to see what each of the buildings are. So again, this is the add-on to the Great Hall, absolutely stunning. And as we walk ahead here, we're going to just do a little bit of a shortcut back on ourselves. At the end of here, if you turn left, you will see the statue that I just mentioned, whereas we are going to turn right and we're going to get onto the main stretch where you will see the Union. In the Union, they have so much stuff. Obviously, because of coronavirus, I couldn't get into the Union, but there is a video on YouTube, which I'll put in the description box, that gives you a tour around the University Union. So I would definitely recommend checking that out. There's just so much in the Union, it's incredible. So here, that is the big red building to the side here. There's so much going on at the Union. We have some pretty flags that are up there. And again, that is on another grass area. So we continue to walk down here. Now this is probably where you'll see a lot of students walking because it connects you to Hyde Park as well. So there's there's a lot going on on this, on this stretch. So we're just gonna continue to keep walking. Now we're going to turn right. If you were to turn left up there, you would end up just some, around some houses. It does lead you to the business school if you are to go straight ahead, but we will be going to the business school in just a moment. I'm just gonna show you the School of Psychology. And to our left up here, we have the School of Psychology. And as we continue to walk up a little bit further, that is the School of Transport, I believe. There is a lovely building, which you will see just ahead of us here. And that is the University Business School. So the University Business School is actually behind the campus, but it is absolutely stunning. It is just across the way from Woodhouse Moor. Now Woodhouse Moor is just a big grass area where for me, when I did my touch rugby at university, that's where we trained. People go for picnics, it's stunning. But here we are at the business school, just give you a quick tour around. It is absolutely stunning, so many pretty buildings and it is absolutely massive as well. So I've done presentations in the business school as well. And as you can see, it's absolutely stunning. So we are just gonna wander back through the business school and we're gonna wander a little bit longer up towards past Henry Price. So again, that is the student accommodation and as we continue to walk, we end up back to the engineering buildings as I showed you as at the start of our tour. So that is a campus tour of the University of Leeds. It's a very general campus tour, so I hope you found it useful. I hope some of the buildings you may recognize if you, could, if you came on an open day or if you need help trying to locate buildings and hopefully this will help you. But that is a general campus tour of the University of Leeds. If anybody has any questions, then put them in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please like, subscribe and comment. And if you are interested in any other university related videos, then check out my channel. But for now, thank you very much and goodbye.